All right, hey guys, we're back, uh, hole number four here. And, uh, you know, just in case, um, I have already shown two revisions. I showed Bandera Ball, I showed Kingmaker. I virtually, well, I made one all but made the other. Um, there's no real reason to go for this shot, but I'm going to give you guys the revision anyway, just in case you want to see an island top shot. And I'll try the best that I can to get it to go. But, uh, you know, it is going to be quite uh, more challenging than the, uh, you know, than the bumper, the rough bump off the, uh, you know, you really have a lot of control over the bounces of the balls on a rough bump shot versus when you have a, uh, you know, one way to think of the rough bump shot is almost it's becoming a tournament shot because, uh, you can put your best clubs on, and virtually every time the rough bump is going to be the best method to make it because you have a lot more uh, control over the hops. Um, and in tour play, you know, obviously, you know, you might not have the best clubs or whatever, uh, might not have the best wind angle. And under all given wind angles, you know, across the board, it's better to play the island hop. But when we know the wind as a fixed direction, uh, it's much better to learn the fixed direction and just go for the rough bump. But I am going to give you guys the uh, island hop here. Just for those of you who might want to see the revision, you'll be able to do this with, uh, you know, potentially uh, navigators. The, big, the biggest problem with a navigator ball is, you know, I'm going to have to curl this. There's going to be no way to avoid the curl. In terms of, uh, you know, how I need to play this backspin wise, I need to keep the ball guide at least to the hole because it is a headwind. So it is into the wind. And, uh, you know, I do play uh, a little bit of an underplay here. I would probably play this just inside 10 rings, not very much. So kind of like 89.8 ish rings or. And you can see, ah, uh, I was not trying to get that uh, great ball. I do think that's probably going to shoot the ball out to the left just slightly, and it does. But it looks like probably not enough that I wouldn't have missed on the other side. I would have probably missed, you know, within a yard on the other side had I hit a perfect ball. So, but it just gives you kind of a reference point. You can see kind of what you're going to need to do. Uh, you definitely have to full side spin that over on a navigator, for example, not on a kingmaker. The advantage of the kingmaker is you could do it without curl. With that navigator on, I virtually, essentially, unless I land it right on the rough's edge, um, I'm going to need to curl it. So I haven't won too many yet. I'm going to go to shootout here. See if I can't pick this one up real quick. Pick up a chest. This is actually a tournament wind. So if you guys want to see a tournament shot, this is going to be it. This is literally the same wind. I was going to do this shot in the tournament. Now I don't know if I need to. I might just splice this video out for you guys. And just say, hey, look at this shootout. It's identical. Um, what I have been doing is very close to one per ring off this fairway. Uh, it's virtually spot on since you're not quite at max club. Uh, my opponent here overplayed it. But I'll try to give it my best effort. I was thinking about doing this today with a navigator. Might still do it. I might just use this as kind of my initial attempt. And then just try to make corrections on this later. I feel like I might need a little bit of curl. Uh, I definitely need to keep it a little bit long, kind of like you see there. I'm um, kind of in intentionally have it long. Uh, I feel it might need just a touch of curl, but it might not. So I, I'm uh, for this time, I'm not going to put it on it. I just want to see kind of how it reacts without it. And that's maybe five and a half rings. Probably nine and a half rings or so. Let's see what that looks like. 
<clears throat> it's coming a little bit hot, but all things considered, not too bad. It looks like uh, if we get a little aggressive, we won't need to curl that at all. You can see I uh, picked up the wind there, but uh, I might go for that one on seven just to show you guys. Oh, nice little platinum. Good thing I played that shootout. But uh, anyway, good luck there, guys, hole four. I uh, wanted to give you guys an island hop shot just so you could see it in case you are so inclined to do so or don't have the balls to and don't feel comfortable with the rough bump shot. There it is. So good luck and catch you guys for hole five.